Meet TensorFlow Timmy. Timmy believes the path to AI offers is paved with endless nights, deciphering the multi-variable calculus and memorizing every single function. He spends hours lost in dense theoretical papers, convinced that this is the way. Timmy grinds leak code like it's his full-time job, convinced that cracking every single hard problem is the secret sauce. He attends every online networking event, hoping to make a connection in the sea of hundreds of other equally strong stressed out students. Timmy's GPA? It's a perfect 4.0, but his project portfolio? Let's just say it's as empty as his love life. Now meet PyTorch Peter. Peter understands the game. While Timmy is drowning in math, Peter is building. Peter skips the crowded career fairs, knowing his work speaks louder than any awkward elevator pitch. And guess what? Recruiters are sliding into his DMs. Timmy and Peter both want the same thing, a high-paying AI internship or job, the respect of their friends and family, and the satisfaction of building something meaningful. But their approaches couldn't be more different. One stuck on all the myths, while the other is laser focused on what actually gets offers. If you're anything like TensorFlow Timmy in that skit, grinding away at what you think is important, but actually not making progress, then you're in the right place. Look, I get it. The world of AI can feel incredibly complex and intimidating. There's just so much info out there, so many supposed must-dos, but it's easy to get lost in the noise and waste precious time on things that don't even matter. But here's the truth. Coming from someone who's been in the trenches and come out the other side with high-paying AI offers, you don't need to follow the old, outdated strategies to break into AI. My name is Dev, and I'm not just some random dude on the internet making things up. I've walked this exact path, and I've seen what works and what doesn't. During my time as a student, I interned at places like Amazon making over $80 an hour. And before I even graduated, I had multiple new grad offers in hand, some topping over $240,000 a year. But what I'm most proud of is the community I've built and the thousands of students I've helped land their dream internship and new grad offer in AI engineering. Take Chang, for example. He felt completely overwhelmed at first, but after focusing on the right strategies, which I'm going to reveal in this video, he landed an offer from Amazon. The point is, there's a smarter, more efficient way to break into AI. And in this video, I'm going to expose the seven myths that are wasting your time and holding you back from getting those high paying offers. If you're serious about your career, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. All right, let's get into myth number one. This is a big one. Let's be real. What we all want deep down is a high paying offer. We want the financial security. We want to make our families proud and we want the respect that comes with working at a cutting edge company. But the idea that you need to be some kind of math god to achieve that is total BS. Look, a foundational understanding of certain concepts like matrix multiplication is essential for AI. It helps you understand the underlying mechanics of the algorithms. But but here's the main point. You don't need to be proving theorems or deriving equations from scratch to build high impact projects and land high paying offers. Think about it this way. You don't need to be an expert in combustion physics to drive a car, right? You understand the basics. The gas goes in, the engine turns, and the wheel moves. Similarly, in AI, you do need to understand the fundamental principles behind the models you're using, but you don't need a PhD in mathematics to apply them. The AI landscape is also rapidly evolving. Frameworks like PyTorch have abstracted away a lot of the math. You can use these tools and pre-built models to build amazing applications without deriving any of the equations yourself. After all, what truly matters to employers is your ability to apply AI concepts. Can you fine-tune an LLM for a specific task? Can you build a robust and scalable AI application? These are the skills that companies are desperately looking for, and they have very little to do with whether you can ace a pure math exam. Instead, focus on the core concepts, mastering libraries like PyTorch, and most importantly, building your portfolio. Your ability to create and implement will speak volumes louder than memorizing every single equation. Alright, myth number two. 
This is completely outdated and simply doesn't hold true in today's market. Advanced degrees were once necessary, but the explosive growth of LLMs and AI engineering has changed everything. Let's look at the facts. The AI job market is booming. We're seeing crazy demand for skilled AI engineers who can build, deploy, and maintain systems. Companies are scrambling to find talent and they're starting to realize that practical, hands-on experience is a lot more valuable than how many years you've been in school. Think about the pace of innovation in this field. I mean, LLMs like ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Llama, they're evolving like crazy. The practical knowledge and skills required to work with these technologies, they're often acquired through experimentation, building hands-on projects and reading the latest research, not necessarily through school. Now, I'm not saying that masters and PhD programs are useless because they can provide a deeper theoretical understanding. However, for the vast majority of AI engineering positions, it's just not necessary. Even the ones with those attractive salaries we're all after. Companies are realizing that someone who can take a research paper and implement it, fine-tune an open source model, especially to solve a specific business problem, they bring immediate value. Your ability to build is what truly sets you apart. So if you're delaying your career because you think you need some advanced degree, please reconsider. Focus on building a killer portfolio and showcasing your practical skills. The industry needs builders and that could be you right now. Myth number three. Ah, LeetCode, the bane of existence for many engineers. Don't get me wrong, LeetCode definitely has its place, but the idea that you need to solve hundreds of questions to land that high-paying AI offer is incredibly wrong. Think about what hiring managers in AI are truly looking for. They want to know if you can work with large data sets, build and train models, deploy them, and solve real-world problems. Can grinding leak code for countless hours really demonstrate those skills? Not really. Your time is far better spent building high-impact projects. Imagine the difference between telling a recruiter that you solved 300 leak code mediums versus showing them your project where you implemented a state-of-the-art model. Which one do you think is going to make a more lasting impression? Building projects is the only way to showcase your practical skills. It demonstrates that you can take an idea from concept to implementation and that's exactly what companies are looking for. Don't get me wrong, practicing some data structure questions is still a good idea, but don't fall into the trap of thinking that leak code is the holy grail. Shift your focus towards building meaningful projects. That's the kind of effort that truly pays off, especially in the long run. Myth number four. Remember those crowded, usually awkward career fairs? The endless lines, the rushed conversations, the feeling of just being another face in the crowd? The intention behind those events is good, connect students with potential employers. But the reality is they're becoming less and less effective. Think about it from a recruiter's perspective. They're bombarded with hundreds, if not thousands of resumes at these events. In that kind of environment, it's impossible to stand out and make a genuine connection. You become a name on a piece of paper and nothing else. How do you truly differentiate yourself from thousands of students doing the exact same thing? The truth is, the best opportunities often get taken before they're even publicly posted. This is what many are calling the invisible hiring funnel. Companies often reach out to candidates directly if they've already demonstrated their skills and expertise with a public portfolio. When you have a well-documented portfolio on a platform like GitHub or LinkedIn, showcasing your ability to implement research papers papers, fine-tune LLMs, anything meaningful. Something magical happens. Recruiters start reaching out to you. You become the candidate they want instead of desperately trying to stand out and make a connection in a crowded, sweaty career fair. Your projects become your best advocates. So instead of spending hours at those pointless events, invest that time into building something meaningful. And don't forget to showcase them online. That's the only way to stand out and tap into the invisible hiring funnel. Myth number five. 
Ah, GPA. The metric that so many students obsess over. Let me be clear. A decent GPA definitely doesn't hurt, but obsessing over every single point on your exams is a complete waste of time. Your grades don't matter that much, especially when it comes to landing a high-paying offer. Think about what a GPA truly reflects. It's a measure of your performance in academic coursework. Does that reflect your ability to build real-world AI applications? Does it showcase your understanding of the latest advanced and LLMs? Does it demonstrate your ability to take a research paper and implement it effectively? The answer is no. AI companies don't care about a number on your transcript. They want to see real evidence of your skills and your ability to build. And that evidence comes from your projects. Imagine two candidates, one with a perfect 4.0, but an empty portfolio. The other has a 3.5 GPA, but they've built several impressive AI projects and even implemented a couple of research papers. Who who do you think will stand out to a hiring manager? The answer is obvious. Myth number six. This is a very common misconception. The thought of building a high-impact portfolio can feel like a monumental task, something that's going to take months of intense effort. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. Think about what truly sucks up your time, but doesn't really pay off. Grinding hundreds of leak code questions, waiting for hours at career fairs in a sweaty suit, and wasting time on pointless homework assignments just to slightly increase your GPA, even though it's not going to matter in your day-to-day -day work as an AI engineer. That's what's eating up your valuable time. Building a standout portfolio doesn't require that you lock yourself in a room for months on end. In fact, many of the students in my program are building crazy impressive projects with just consistent focused effort, even as little as 30 minutes a day. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You do need to invest some time consistently. Showing up every day, even if just for 30 minutes, is important. But you'll be amazed at how much you'll achieve when you dedicate just 30 minutes a day to building, experimenting, and learning. Think about it, that can add up to some pretty substantial progress over a few weeks. You can implement a research paper in stages, fine-tune a small language model incrementally, or build a larger component of an AI application bit by bit. The key is consistency and focus. Instead of scattering your efforts, channel that energy into building tangible projects. You'll be surprised at how quickly your portfolio grows and how quickly your career prospects improve. Myth number seven. This one honestly gets me pissed off because it holds so many talented beginners back. The idea that beginners can't build projects is a complete and utter lie. It's a harmful misconception and it prevents beginners from taking the right actions that's going to accelerate their growth. It genuinely makes me mad when I hear people telling beginners that they need to learn all of the theory before they can build anything. Because the truth is, building projects is actually the best way to learn AI concepts and get ahead as a beginner. You learn by doing, by experimenting, by encountering challenges and creatively finding solutions. Think about it, when you're forced to implement a simple AI algorithm or fine tune a very small model, it makes you engage with the concepts in a super practical way. You'll encounter some errors and have to debug. These are crazy valuable learning experiences that you're not going to get from passively reading textbooks. I've actually seen this firsthand with students in my program who have little to no AI experience. Experience. Within as little as two weeks, they're building their first projects. Real projects that demonstrate their commitment to growth, learning, and eventually get them some sick high paying offers. So if you're a beginner and you're feeling overwhelmed because you feel like you need to master everything before you can build anything, I'm here to tell you that that's simply not true. Start small. Pick a project that interests you, even if it feels basic. That's how you learn and that's how you start building your portfolio, which is eventually going to open incredible opportunities for you. Now, if you're serious about your journey and you want to accelerate your learning process, shortcut it and not waste time on any of these myths. If you want the exact step-by-step -step system that my students are using right now to land their dream AI internships and full-time positions, the exact same system that helped Chang get into Amazon, then I want to invite you to check out my program, LLM Liftoff. It's designed to equip you with the practical skills 
skills, the project building expertise, and the insider strategies that you need to land high paying offers. You can find all the details and enroll through the link in the description. And if you want to go even deeper into the true strategies for breaking into AI, check out my video that's about to pop up somewhere on the top right. It's probably the most valuable video on this entire channel. It's packed with all of the tips and tricks going even deeper than this video. Keep building, keep learning, and I'll see you soon.